big moment. I just checked my email. I, oops, that's not covering it. I got accepted into the partner program, which is so excited because that means that I get to monetize my channel. Finally, after seven years, waiting for this moment. Oh my gosh, I am just filled with joy and excitedness. And yeah, and I wanna thank all the people that made this happen, including my family and Haley, and yeah, just everyone who has watched. Um, thank you so much for your support. And this is such a big moment in my life. This is like literally a dream come true. So yeah, I just wanna say thank you to everybody. And this is magical. I never, I never felt felt like this before, it's great. <laughs>
So I usually keep a contents in the back. That's what I started doing in these. I never used to have a contents, but I started having a contents in the back so I can always flip to a certain page. So I have to number the pages as well because each page in the corner is numbered. Let's do that. Contents in the back and have everything labeled and I put my video ideas in the back. So every page is numbered as well. All right, so I'm gonna quickly like go over my desk setup. Um, where I get most of my work done because I feel like I've never really gone over my desk in any of my videos um, ever since I think even back in the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little tour. So I'm gonna start off in this corner <laughs> first. Um, I have my guitar back there because it's just easy to grab and it's like in the corner so it's like got its own little cubby. Um, on the floor I got some like cables, some notebooks for um, writing and stuff, music. To go along with the music, I set up a little hook thing here for my headphones. These are Audio Technicas. Um, they sound really good and I've had these for like a good three, four years now. Um, and they work perfectly fine for what I use them for. Uh, this is a Audio Technica mic, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it's Audio Technica. There you go. So it's the AT2020 version. But yeah, and then I have like a little pop filter. So like when I do my live streams, um, I could do that. And I used to use this for my music, but um, I haven't gotten a program on my Windows because I always used GarageBand to make my music. So I'm trying to still get that situated, but yeah, and then it goes right into this audio box. Um, this is just like, you can control the volume and like the sound going into it, sound coming out of it, like the distortion, all kinds of stuff like that. So it's a little, it's a mixer. Um, so yeah, it's fun stuff. Over here I have like a collection of just different glasses, mostly blue light glasses. These are all some sort of blue light glasses. And I think I'll go over it in a video, all of my glasses that I wear, but yeah, those are my glasses. This is my really cool thrifted lamp that is old and from a library and I love it. it adds a nice green tone on that night and it's just, it's great, I love it. <laughs> it's one of my favorite lamps I've ever had in my life. So yes, really cool lamp. I have my headphones for editing when I edit in the morning. Cause my girlfriend's sleeping, so I put headphones in and I edit there. A little pick for my guitar, usually it sits over here. A few notebooks, um, these are, this one's full and I need to write the ideas. Obviously you guys already know. And this one's just for like businessy things. <laughs> businessy things. Um, this is my planner, obviously. Pen to go with the planner, although it has a pen in the side. I guess I ever forget it. It's just not as dark as I like it to be. Um, have a Lenovo computer. This is actually a gaming PC, so it can handle quite a lot of. Uh, storage and processing so i love it for editing because yeah it sounds like it's gonna blow up but it's just because of the fan working and i love this computer it has done everything i needed to do swimmingly so i love this computer <laughs> just that's it that's uh that's the computer it's got i don't know you get you guys can look into the specs of this thing but it's got a core seven or i7 ninth generation, I don't know what any of that stuff means, but the main thing is, is that it has a huge processor and it's like for gaming, so um, it has a lot of good things for video editing and stuff. So we got that. Back here is all of the streaming stuff basically. So we have my streaming camera now. This is a Sony Handycam um, and I love it. It's literally what my dad filmed us on when we were kids. 
So I was like, yo, are you using it anymore? And he's like, no. I was like, okay, great. I will take it and make use of it. So now this is my streaming camera. Um, I still need to figure out how to turn off the auto focus. But yeah, um, this is my whole linking setup. So this is my little card link uh, video capture HD output um, so that my camera can go straight into my OBS studios. So in order to connect a camera like that to stream from, you need a capture card. So that's mine. Uh, this is just a plug-in for my interface. I have two hard drives here. Um, I have a bunch of labels and everything on them, but sometimes I need to update them. But yeah, so they have my, my videos, my video clips, all kinds of stuff on here. My phone stuff, because my phone gets out of store sometimes, so I need to back it up. Um, so yeah, hard drives. A little dust blower because obviously everything gets dusty. Um, sticky notes for notes like this. And I have business cards. These are all business cards in here. Um, this is just notes. And then I can make my girlfriend's small little cute envelope um, <laughs> notes. So that's cool. Tape, super glue, obviously, for those uh ohs. <laughs> and then um, a JBL speaker just sitting on the corner. Uh, <clears throat> microphones, Bluetooth. Obviously, I have a arm clamp, which I'm testing this out from Small Rig. Um, but yeah, and then I have my Canon M50 with my 17 to 55 because obviously I was filming with this this morning. And then I have my Canon point and shoot um, Power Shot Elf 150 because. I was taking a picture for the thumbnail for the live stream today. Fun. And then here is my little corner setup. I don't know why. It's just kind of like this. So I have markers and I have pens and pencils. So I can have any writing utensil out and open ready for me to go and start creating something or writing something down with. Uh, cleaning cloths, obviously they're essential so I always keep them out whether it be for my glasses, whether it be my girlfriend's glasses, whether it be the camera lenses, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, I have multi-tools, mostly for this tool right here, the flathead, so I can screw on plates and stuff to my cameras, um, but also to like, cut stuff or whatever if I need to. This is the Leatherman Squirt. So I might do a video on all my like multi-tools and stuff, but... I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd be interested in that. Um, I also have storage. <laughs> so I have uh, SD cards here that these are clean. This one I need to clean. Um, but yeah. So down here I have a cleaning cloth, microfiber. Um, here I have, this is like holds my hard drives in there. Um, everything below this desk is all basically camera storage. <laughs> So obviously I got like tripods, tripods, selfie stick, um, just different things like that. And a bunch of camera gear, tape, markers, a bunch of things like that. And same thing goes for that, just more camera gear, storage and stuff. My drone's back there. This is my desk setup. This is how I like it set up. This is how I'm most efficient and I'm most productive. All right, so what I want to try and do today is get some time lapses. So let's head to the bridge. I come here trying to set up my thing and there's no SD card because I took it out of the camera. I'm so dumb bro. So dumb. But it's okay, we're gonna try gonna get time lapses with this camera. some good stuff on the bridge. I can't believe I didn't bring 
my SD card and my camera. But it's okay, lesson learned. Always check cameras before you leave to see if you have an SD card. We are on the way to go get pizza. Vegan pizza. Hills, are you very excited? I'm very hungry, very excited. I've been craving it since I found out about it yesterday. <laughs> pizza place. Definitely the best vegan pizza I've ever had. It has the New York crust that I grew up eating that I've been missing. Um, vegan cheese is vegan cheese, you know, but the sauce and the crust, mm, so okay. good. We're just taking a little stroll in the park. Just like the movie, Home Alone. A stroll in the park. <laughs> 